My name is Matteo Smerlak. Uh, I'm a physicist. I've been working in Canada for several years and I'm now moving to Germany to study the dynamics of evolution and the general structure of evolutionary theory. Um, I'm doing this thanks to this uh, grant which I've uh, won. Uh, it's the Sofia Kowalewska Award and this provides me with the opportunity to set up a group and in that group, what I would like to do is bring together a group of people that have different backgrounds. Some of them might be biologists, because evolution is naturally associated to biology. But, but it's not just biology, the way I see it. Evolution also is relevant for computer science as an sort of optimization heuristic, and in other fields as well. And so what I'd like to do is set up this transdisciplinary group in which we will conflict uh, on the meaning and, and sort of structure of evolution in hopefully a creative way. I myself, as I said, I'm a physicist. My background is not in biology. Uh, and so I may not have the sort of all the skills that a biologist has in terms of explaining the history of life on Earth. Uh, but my perspective is a bit different. I'm looking at the structure and patterns of evolution uh, beyond particular instances. And so in short, what I'm really interested in is not so much evolution as history, but more evolution as a predictive science. Uh, I, I'm very curious to see how much can be predicted uh, when it comes to evolution and also on what level. Is it a statistical pattern that we might be able to predict as opposed to particular outcomes? Uh, all these things are very much open the way I see it. And so this Kowalewskaya grant is, is a perfect opportunity for me to explore this. And uh, I should say that it's not clear to me that another funding platform would allow for this. Um, a university department typically works as a specialized unit in the field. Um, that's not particularly conducive to transdisciplinary science. Uh, on the other hand, the Kovalevskaya grant is, is precisely uh, allowing for such explorations. So um, I'm especially excited and grateful for this opportunity uh, given to me by the Humboldt Foundation.